Warriors of Christ There were many warriors of Christ throughout history. Luckily, we can still find some in our modern times. But unfortunately, there aren't many left. You see, the world is changing rapidly. The internet is one of the biggest changes the world has ever seen. The internet can be a great tool, but it can also lead to destruction. Unfortunately, it has. The people around us are getting brainwashed and deceived by Satan working through the internet. What I want to achieve with the gift that we got from God, a gift that we can use to spread a message to the whole world by just one click, I want to use that gift for good. I want to change men, young or not, into warriors of Christ. Then the question comes, what are warriors of Christ? Warriors of Christ are men who are willing to be a warrior for Christ. Men who are willing to shed their blood for believing in Jesus Christ. Men that try their very best to follow the word of God. Men that are not afraid for showing their beliefs. Men who are masculine. Men that can take care of a family. Men who are willing to sacrifice themselves for others. Men that have much wisdom. Men who are ready to give an answer when someone asks, why do you believe in Jesus? That are just some examples of warriors of Christ. Warriors of Christ need to be strong both mentally and physically. This Bible verse backs it up. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. Be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong. Now, how do we get physically strong? By going to the gym and training on martial arts, boxing or MMA, for example. But we have to watch out with going to the gym. We cannot be deceived here. Because many people have wrong motives for going to the gym. Many people want to attract the opposite sex. In this, you are causing people to sin. Therefore, do not focus on that. Focus on becoming strong, athletic and looking big. Because looking big has its advantages. For example, other men will respect you because they see that you have the discipline to achieve something. In this case, your physique. But our journey in the gym can never come before our spiritual journey. We need to always keep God and God's word in mind. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8 Bodily training is of some value. Godliness is of value in every way, as it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. Therefore, be godly in every way you can. You also need to be strong mentally. This we can improve by implementing the wisdom God gave us through the Bible. We can also use other books, especially self-help books, so that we can use all the wisdom that God gave us and use it for good. As a warrior of Christ, you will be exceptional in your wisdom. So, how do you become one? A warrior of Christ is never complete. A warrior of Christ is always learning. You can't say, I have completed this, so now I am a warrior of Christ and then never trying to improve again. A warrior of Christ will never stop with improving. That is the beauty of it. God gave so much wisdom for us to learn that it is impossible to stop learning again. You have to have humility, not pride. When you have pride, you say, I am proud of this that I have done, so I can take it easy next time. Do not think like this. You have to have the humility to know that you're never perfect, that you never will quit with learning. We also can't be lazy with it. We have to seek the wisdom. We need to put the effort in. Slut, which means laziness and pride are not without a reason, two of the seven deadly sins. God warns us about this. So, you become a warrior of Christ by trying to get like the ultimate warrior of Christ. You become one in the process of improving yourself. A warrior of Christ is he who seeks to be more like Jesus Christ and follow the teachings that he taught. So when you are already seeking to improve yourself in the likeness of God, then you already are a warrior of Christ. Congratulations, you are doing a great job. I hope God is happy with you. I am not the one to judge, but I think he is, if that is the case.